Okay guys, we're going to uh, talk about uh, installing the uh, solar panel uh, wires. So, um, running from the box, the ammo box, or the container, uh, we have, um, we, we connect to a solar panel. And so we've got to have some, some uh, we can't just have a, this wire, which is like a thermostat wire. We don't want that just running along the ground. We need something... Uh, to protect it. So we're using some, uh, this is a 10 foot piece of um, fuel hose. It's like a rubber fuel hose. It's from Lowe's or Home Depot or something. I think it's from Lowe's, but you could probably get it anywhere. Um, I think it was probably like seven or eight bucks. Um, there's a trick to this. Uh, running this wire through this hose, this 10 foot strand of hose, is amazingly difficult. Um, and if there was ever a trick to any part of this, this is it. Um, this is by far the most complicated part to any of this, and it's just nerve-wracking. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna cut the camera. Um, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna tell you what I'm going to do. I'll do some of it, but when I actually run the the, the cord through the, um, the electrical line through I'm going to cut the camera so because it's going to get a little crazy it's just you have to hold a lot of things and it's just a pain so basically I have fishing line with a little piece of plastic baggie tied to it and I'm going to put that into the fuel line the fuel hose right here okay and there there it goes Okay, it's in there. And I'm going to use, got an air compressor. Like I said, this can probably be done numerous ways, but this is the easiest way I've found. And uh, I've tried to do it other ways. It was really hard. So I'm going to go ahead and blow air through this, and it will send that little piece of baggie out the end and, and run the line for me. So here we go. Stretch this out a little bit. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, never mind. It's already done. The thing's already come out the other end. Probably just blowing air for no reason. All right. So basically, come around to this side of the table real quick. We have we have the little piece of baggie with the fuel line, so uh, run through the fuel hose. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tape tape and tie and everything else this wire to this piece of fishing line, and I'm going to fish it through the fuel hose. Um, like I said, it. It's kind of a pain. Uh, if you had two people, it'd be so much easier, but I don't feel like bothering anybody at this point, so I'm gonna do it by myself. Um, at any rate, I'll be back. Okay guys, let's go over a real quick recap of what we've done here thus far. Um, so we've assembled the frame, added the feet. Uh, we have the, uh, the wing nuts under here, the load cells. Um, I have yet to put the uh, phone jack connectors on, but I'll be doing that shortly. We have our ammo box that we've installed the um, wire glands in and drilled the holes in. That's good to go. That's done. Okay. We've got the battery and the solar charger that we've attached to it. That's done. Uh, we've installed the wire, the uh, thermostat wire, through the, the fuel hose. That's done too. Um, our next uh, thing that we need to do is we'll go over here real quick. So we have the solar panel here, and you notice there's this nice connector on it. That didn't come like that, so we're going to have to put it on there. It's a 50 watt solar panel 
and you can see I don't know what all this stuff is called but um, this wire was cut and this connector was put on this is a kind of a water resistant connector uh, I wish I had the other half let me see I do I do have the other half so the connector goes in you know just like this and it has a nice little seal on it so if the sprinklers running or something this should be relatively dry in here um, word to the wise why are your systems all the same meaning the solar panel gets a female end and that thing gets a male end just in case you have to change parts um, you can do it any way you want to, but I just recommend keeping everything the same in case you need a new panel and you can build it, you know, in your garage. And then if you want to go plug it in, everything, the connectors all line up. So, um, again, this is a 50 watt solar panel. I have a new one in the box. So there we have it. There's our solar panel. and what kind of connector have they given oh they didn't give us any connector okay we can work with that so what's going to end up happening now is we're going to have to go to the soldering table and um that's some other equipment that you guys may not have or maybe your neighbor has a soldering iron but um for this system you're going to need to solder some connectors on. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go to the soldering station next. And we'll be back. Okay guys, so we're here at the uh, soldering station now. And um, basically what I'm going to do, the solar panel is down here uh, by my feet. And I've got the um, the wire leads that we're going to put this connector on. Um, again, for the solar panel, I'm going um, with the the male. Yes, this no, this is the female connector part of it. So, um, and then I'm also there's different kinds of ends. So I'm going to be using the. Um, the female end on the solar panel and the I'm going to use the pointed um, whatever these are called first things first though um, go ahead and uh, insert these little rubber washers I guess this is gonna make it more waterproof if you forget those you gotta take it all apart and start over so and I've done it um, I've done it more than uh, more than once so I'm kind of a little aware of what could possibly happen if you don't pay attention. Um, again, wearing your safety glasses, solder in the eye is not good. I've gotten it very close to getting my eyeball and it's quite painful, so don't do that. getting hot okay now that we've got that done um, we're gonna put this connector on it or the female end for crying out loud on the um, the solar panels okay all right so where is it okay so on this connector also there's a B and an A Again, B goes black and A gets the red. So we'll just take that and push it up in there. It'll get stuck. And then actually unvice this. So now those prongs are stuck in there nice and good. I'm going to go ahead and push this rubber washer connector whatever the hell this thing is I'm pushing that up there that right there that 
this allows some of the water to get through it. And there we go. So the connector is on the solar panel now. And um, I'm going to wrap this in electrical tape real good so it's a little bit more rigid. But um, the next step is I'm going to put the male end on the, uh, the box part and so we'll be able to connect the, uh, the wires together. I'll be back.